Two men arrive talking and one of them asks if he can send the reports that he owed on Monday because he didn't have time. The other man says he needs the reports by Monday without fail by 6 p.m. They keep walking in and a woman in the room notices they're coming and quickly changes. The boss emphasizes again that he needs the reports without fail on Monday the man finishes entering the room and finds the girl badly dressed and asks what is going on. The woman says good morning and that she is just organizing some things because it was very dirty. The suspicious boss says he only came to get the cell phone he had forgotten. He takes out his cell phone and tells her to quickly organize that he has a meeting and leaves the room leaving her alone to clean. He can leave boss now I'm done. The man leaves and leaves the door open. When he leaves she goes slowly until the door closes and comes back to change. The suspicious boss sees that she closed the door and opens it slowly to see what she is doing and sees her changing and doesn't like the attitude of the girl who is taking a selfie during work hours. He closes the door takes the phone suspiciously says he'll find out what she's up to you. He calls his assistant and tells him that the girl is plotting something against him and asks him to meet him at the office, but you are sure she is doing something wrong. I don't know, but we're going to find out so I want you to come here now. The boy says he's on his way. The two men are talking about reports that are overdue and the boss is quick to charge the employee who is letting things pile up. The assistant says it's a lot of work just for him to do and suggests paying someone else to do it, but the boss doesn't agree and says he's already paid the guy and doesn't even want to talk, wants the reports ready on his desk as soon as possible. The boy guarantees that he will make it, but points out that it is a lot. I don't even want to know you get paid for this says the boss getting up from the table to leave. The two get up and go towards the door where the employee is cleaning and the boss asks her to organize the office again until 3 p.m. because he has an important meeting. The girl says that she will do everything right. The man leaves and the girl goes to the table cleaning and realizes that there are some papers on the table. The two men are in a room having a snack and the assistant says that the snack is very tasty. The boss agrees that he really does look hot, but changing the subject are those reports you were supposed to give me yesterday finished? My boss, I'm swamped with work, but tomorrow afternoon you can be sure I deliver. The boss says he's already running out of patience and his last deadline is tomorrow I'll pay you and to do things when I need this way I'll have to send you away and hire someone else. The assistant asks please give me a deadline only until tomorrow I'll do it for sure. Okay, but only until tomorrow, then there's no excuses, you've already screwed me up a lot. It's okay boss you can leave. They get up and say the coffee is great I have to go when I get back I want everything organized. The girl says that she will organize everything. The boss leaves and she feels like eating, 
but she can't because of the company's rules so she sits down, opens the drawer, takes a bag, takes out some makeup products, puts on makeup and then takes off her company uniform, puts on another outfit, picks up the phone and call your daughter. Hi daughter, how are you my love? The girl who is sick says that she is getting better little by little. The woman is happy and says that she will be fine and that she will soon be with her daughter. She shows the table full of fries to her daughter who is far away. My mom, what plenty when I get better will I be able to eat all this? Of course I saw my little one is going to eat all this and more now I need to hang up because mommy has to work. The girl agrees and asks if she can call back later. Of course my daughter can call mommy will call you later kiss love you. The two men hear everything and don't like it. She hangs up the phone and puts her uniform back on as her boss watches everything and doesn't like what she's seeing at all. He walks in just as she is changing and asks what does it all mean? The girl is scared and says that she will explain everything and asks please not to be fired. The boss asks her to hand over the company uniform. She begs not to be fired because she has a sick daughter and really needs her job. He doesn't want to know and asks her to hand over the uniform. The girl keeps begging and doesn't hand over her uniform. The assistant intrudes on the conversation and says do what he's asking and deliver this uniform right away. But the girl almost crying says that she will never do that again. I won't ask you again please hand me the uniform enough talk I don't have time to waste. The girl is very sad and hands over the uniform. The boss turns to the assistant and asks him to stop by HR and let him know that she is the company's new lawyer. The girl is surprised and very happy at the same time, not believing what is happening, she thanks him. Yes you yourself are our new lawyer I have been watching you because I was suspicious that you were plotting something against this company, but contrary to what I thought you are very competent I really liked what you did so from today you are my new lawyer. The woman says that she was already desperate to buy her daughter's medicine because the salary was little and is immensely grateful for the opportunity. The boss says he's happy to help, but she earned it and tomorrow you can come as she really deserves. While I'm so happy that I have no words to describe what I'm feeling can I give you a hug? The boss says yes and she goes to him and hugs him. The boss says he needs to go because he has an appointment and asks her for a favor to organize the room one last time until he hires someone else. He leaves and she is very happy thanking God for everything.